with the coming of Randy's fish as a recent rescue, those of you who watch my channel should know what I'm talking about. This tank is now uh, way too busy for my, even for my taste. I'm often accused of having too many fish in tanks, which is true, but even for my taste, this is too much. So I need to unload this tank and distribute the load. We got uh, from Randy, we got three marble pim catfish, one uh, tiger shovel nose red tail hybrid. They're all about two feet and also a two foot Florida gar. So it's a bit too much now. So I'm gonna try and uh, rehome out of here the two, everything that I can into the rubber lined 25,000 gallon. So the knives, if they have no spines, I'm gonna check them for spines. I don't think they have any spines, so like sharp needle spines in their fins. So I think I'm gonna put them there. The uh, Lirii, Balagonia Lirii, the helicopter catfish. I'm gonna check him for the spines and if, I don't think he has any, just like the Wells catfish that's already in there. I'm gonna transfer him into the 25,000. And I'm gonna check for spines the, the large Congo. We have a pair of Congo giraffe catfish and a pair of Boucher giraffe catfish. If they don't have sharp spines in their uh, pectoral and dorsal fins, I'm gonna put them there as well. If not, the Bouches, uh, being the smaller ones, are gonna go into this 1800 gallon to unload this tank a little bit. That should give us a little bit more breathing room. There's too much movement, too little rest in this tank for everybody to just stay in here. Dovia is doing well, bossing other fish around. He's doing, saying hi. He doesn't like Brutus. He chases him and Brutus runs away, even though Dovia is half his size. Alright, so that's the plan. I'm gonna go have to go in and uh, start catching them and checking them. And then I'm gonna put them into the 25,000 gallon. Here are the first two of the two knife fish. About two feet, one is over. Number two is a, or three, two and a half foot Wallagonia Lirii. I hope Wells doesn't kill him. Wells is not gonna like him, but there is plenty of space here to run away and hide. I also hope he doesn't eat up our smaller koi. This has been very tame for me. He doesn't even want to take whole herring at six inches, eight inches. He wants pieces, high maintenance. The highness only wants pieces of herring. Whole herring is below that. Number four is a boucher, male. I looked at them carefully and there's, they don't have sharp spines. But this is a strong leading ray in both fins. If it's broken, it's, it may be uh, sharp. But when it's intact, it's fine. This cooler is 21 inches front to back. So that's uh, males don't grow that big. This is about a six year old male and it's only 21 inches, 20, 21. As opposed to females that can get up to two and a half feet. Second male voucher, 
This one is the dominant one and it's only slightly bigger, maybe by an inch. So it's 21, 21, 22 inches. So one inch has got one inch advantage over its brother and it's the dominant one for sure. It bulls it all the time. Not bulls it, but it asserts its dominance and the other one just runs away. Here's a much bigger Congo giraffe catfish, Wite, Alcanaglanus Wite. Looks like about a little over two feet, maybe 28 inches. Hard to believe that uh, four years ago he was one inch, a tiny little baby. So that's number six. Number seven is our biggest giraffe nose catfish, also Congo. Wite, our Canaglanus Wite. He's about two and a half feet, and his name is Happy. He's a rescue of uh, also about four years ago, all the way from California. Say hello to Beetlebug 15 and Mrs. Page. He came from there. One knife is still sitting here, Leary Eye is still sitting here, helicopter, and happy. So all in all we took out seven fish from the 4500 gallon tank to reduce the stress of constant movement. That's happy's brother from Congo. He's probably about only two inches smaller than happy and he's probably two years younger than happy. Here are the two voucher. And another knife. So that's seven. Since giraffe catfish don't have uh, sharp spines, I decided to put all the big ones into the 25K using the occasion so that everybody's equally stressed because adding giraffe catfish afterwards could lead to bullying but for the long-term growth and prospect I think they would be fine they would benefit from being in the 25,000 gallons so I caught this uh, Niger giraffe catfish and I'll kind of glance species that I don't know what, what exactly this species is in the 1800 gallon and he's going into the okay all right seaweed there you go he's going into the 25k we're growing out seven giraffe catfish as you've seen uh, two Congo, Ovite, two Bauche. It seems to be two Voltas. And this one, the seventh, is from the Niger, a single specimen. Here's the one from Volta. 
this is the larger female the small male I'm not gonna put in there he's the only giraffe catfish that I'm not putting there is gonna live in here in the 1800 gallon because he's only about a foot he's right there He's the only one who's staying in the smaller tanks. I think it's, it's too small for the long term and it may be a snack for whales or somebody else. But the female volta is about a foot and a half. So she can go into, into the 25k for now. Let's see how she does there. We say Niger and now Volta. Hope you guys enjoy yourselves in here. A lot more space. A lot more space. 50 feet by 15 feet by four and a half feet. Well five and a half, but it's only filled to about four and a half. is still sitting here same for the knife and same for happy they decided to adjust sitting everybody else is adjusting swimming there's Volta female well I think I, I will stop my rehoming at this point Thank you. Oh well, no, not yet. <laughs> Sorry. I gotta show you what the 4500 gallon looks like without all the without the seven big catfish. It looks a little better now, see? A lot more space for everybody to spread out and not bump into each other all the time. So I, I like that. I like that much better even though there is still a lot of bodies in there but this looks better to me maybe people will bash me less as well <laughs> now I'm gonna cut it thank you for watching guys appreciate it